This video looks at parametric equations for an ellipse. Now, firstly, you need to be able to identify the Cartesian equation for an ellipse. It's x squared over a squared plus y squared over b squared equals 1. So key points, you have the equals 1 and you have a plus in the middle. So just to be able to try and separate it from your circles. Now, parametric equations will be in the form of x equals a cos t and y equals b sine t. Our domain for T is one revolution of the circle. And then I have a summary of what your domain and range will be for your ellipse. Again, I don't remember these things. I look at the equation and work it out from there. So let's look at an example. Find the Cartesian equation of the curve with the parametric equations x equals 3 plus 3 sine t and y equals 2 minus 2 cos t. t is an element of the reals. Describe the curve. So we have x equals 3 plus 3 sine t is equation 1. Y equals 2 minus 2 cos T is equation 2. Just like we have previously, isolate the trig function. So sine T equals or trig ratio X minus 3 all over 3. That'll be equation 3. Get cos T on its own and you'll have 2 minus Y divided by negative 2 and that can be rearranged to be Y minus 2 all over 2. So that's equation 4. As per normal, 3 squared plus 4 squared, we get sine squared T plus cos squared T equals X minus 3 over 3 all squared plus y minus 2 all over 2 all squared. Um, we have our trig identity, which is 1. So 1 equals x minus 3 all squared over 9 plus y minus 2 all squared over 4. And that looks like our ellipse equation, which we've been talking about. So it's an ellipse. The center is given by what's happening with the X and Y. So that'll be 3, 2. In regards to what it looks like if I sketched it. Okay, so I've cheated slightly. Our center is 3, 2. So that's 3, there's 2. Now... The 9 that's here tells us the distance between our centre and the outside of our lips. So square root of 9, square root of 9, which is 3. So that's why this is 0 and this point here would be 6. Now the 4 with the y, might have realised, gives us our vertical axis. So square root of 4, which is 2. So that means this value here is 4. So we have a major and minor axis. And our domain is 0 to 6 and our range is 0 to 4. Again, you could work that out without graphing. You would just get your centre point for x and go 3 take 3 equals 0, 3 plus 3 equals 6 and for your y you'd work with the 2, 2 plus 2 equals 4, 2 minus 2 equals 0.